Hello everyone and welcome to Fatma Sami's channel. Today's video is for grade 4, semester 1. We're going to do some exercises on unit 2, activity book. Unit 2, picnic time. Exercise number 1. Look at the class book page 36 and complete the sentences. Let's see the answers. Number one, there are lots of children playing football. Number two, the Omani flag is red, white, and green. Number three, the baby wants to have a cupcake. Number four, the boy is hungry because he wants to have some fruit. Exercise number two. Find and number. Look at the words on the left, then look at the picture on the right. Then number the food words. Let's see the answers. Number one is done for you. Lemonade. Number two. Salad. Number three. Fruit. Number four, cereal. Number five, coffee. Number six, cupcakes. Number seven, sandwiches. Number eight, tea. Number nine, noodles. Number ten, milkshake. Number eleven, crisps. Number twelve, vegetables exercise number three look at activity two and complete the table in this activity we're gonna sort the words in activity two into three different categories sweet savory other let's see the answers the sweet food are cupcakes fruit lemonade milkshake cereal next we have savory food salad sandwiches noodles crisps vegetables other type of food is tea coffee listen to part two exercise number one Look, read and order. Go to your class book, read the story in unit 2. Then, order these pictures. Number 1 is done for you. Now, let's see the rest of the answers. Exercise number 2. Write all the food and drink words you can see in activity 1. The words are noodles, lemonade, crisps, sandwiches, salad, fruit. Exercise number three. Complete the sentences. Let's see the answers. Number one is done for you. The children have a picnic in Luti's garden. Number two. Boo wants to put Lemonade on noodles. Exercise number three. The children form a team. Number four. The children have their teams meeting in an old shed. Number five. The children find the club symbol on the table. Exercise number four. Read and circle. Circle the correct answer. The story is about learning together. Lesson 3, Part 2. Exercise number 1. Listen and tick. Listen carefully and tick the correct answer. Number 1 is done for you. There is a lot of tea. Picture A. Number two, 
There are few apples. Number three. There aren't any bananas. Number four. There is a little lemonade. Number five. There is some bread. Number six. There are a lot of tomatoes. Now, check your answers. Exercise number two. Look at the pictures in activity one, then complete the sentences. Use the words in the box above to complete the sentences. Let's see the answers. Number one is done for you. There is a lot of tea. Number two. There are few apples. Number three. There aren't any bananas. Number four. There is a little lemonade. Number five. There isn't any bread. Number six. There are some tomatoes. Exercise number three. What's on your plate? Draw and write. Draw your favorite food on this box. Then write what's on your plate. I'll show you my answers as an example. On my plate, there is a little bread and some vegetables. There is a lot of lemonade. Exercise number four. Compare with your partner. Are your plates the same or different? Let's read the examples. On my plate, there is a tomato. On my plate, there aren't any tomatoes. Describe what's on your plate the same way shown in the examples. Listen for part two, exercise number one. Look at the pictures. Find the containers and complete the phrases. Number one is done for you. A can of lemonade. Number two. A bottle of water. Number three. A bowl of salad. Number four. A cup of tea. Number five. A glass of orange juice. Number six. A plate of cupcakes. Number seven. A box of eggs. Number eight. A bag of carrots. What's the message? I drink five glasses of water every day. And you? Exercise number two. Write your questions with any, then listen and circle. Let's write the question first. Number one is done for you. Is there any fruit? Number two. Are there any apples? Number three. Are there any oranges? Number four. Is there any orange juice? Number five. Are there any bananas? Number six. Is there any ice cream? Now, listen carefully to the conversation between two girls, then circle yes or no. It's tea time. I'm hungry. Let's make a fruit salad. Okay, but is there any fruit? I think there is. Let's check the kitchen. Are there any apples? Mm, no. There aren't any apples. And what about oranges? Are there any oranges? No, I'm afraid not. But there is a bottle of orange juice. Okay, and are there any bananas? Yes, there is a bag of bananas. And is there any ice cream? Yes, there is a lot of ice cream. Now, check your answers. Exercise number three. Look at activity two in pairs ask and answer. Let's read the example. Is there any fruit? Yes, there is. 
Have a similar conversation shown in the example with your partner in class. Lesson 5, Part 1, Exercise number 1. Look and match, then say. Match these pictures with the food. Number 1 is done for you. We use a spoon to eat panicho. Now let's see the rest of the answers. Number two, we use a stick to eat fondue. Number three, we use chopsticks to eat sushi. Number four, we use a straw to drink bubble tea. Exercise number two, read and write, true or false. Let's see the answers. Number one is done for you. You eat bunny cho with chopsticks. False. Number two. Bubble tea is popular in Asia. True. Number three. Fondue can be sweet or savory. True. Number four. You make sushi with noodles. False. Number five. You make panicho with cake. False. Exercise number three. Correct the false sentences in activity two. Let's see the answers. Number one. You eat sushi with chopsticks. You eat panicho with a spoon. Number four. You make sushi with rice. Number five, you make panicho with bread. Lesson six, exercise number one, read and circle. Let's see the answers. Number one, good morning, can I help you? Number two, hello, can I have six apples please? Number three, Sure. Anything else? Number four. Can I have some grapes, please? Number five. That's five reals, please. Number six. Here you are. Exercise number two. Read and choose the best answer. Let's see the answers. Number one is done for you. Can I help you? A. Hello. Can I have some apples, please? Number two. Can I have four cupcakes, please? C. Sure. Number three. Anything else? C. No. That's it. Thanks. Number four. That's a three reals, please. A. Here you are. Exercise number three. Order the sentences to make a dialogue. Let's see the answers. Number one is done for you. Good morning. Can I help you? Number two. Hi. Can I have three bags of grapes, please? Number three. One, two, three. Anything else? Number four. No, that's it. Number five. Right, that's two reals, please. Number six. Here you are. Number seven. Thanks, bye. Lesson seven, part two. Reading. Exercise number one. Read and circle. Go to your class book and read about Russia and her favorite food. Then answer this question. Now let's see the answers. Number one is done for you. Russia is the winner of the TV show Kids Cook. Number two. Russia lives in Muscat. 
Number three, Russia has got one sister. Number four, Haris is a borage. Number five, Haris is delicious. Exercise number two, circle the words and complete the recipe. Let's circle the words first. Now, let's complete the recipe. Time is done for you. 30 minutes. Four, four people. The ingredients are chicken, spices, wheat, and butter. Exercise number three. Read and correct the mistakes. Use the words in the box above to help you. Number one is done for you. You make some wheat in water. Number two, you add the chicken and cook some more. Number three, you add the spices. Number four, cook for a few more minutes. Number five. Add a little butter and serve. Lesson 8, Part 2 Writing Exercise number 1 Order the steps of the recipe, then complete. Use the words in the box above to help you. Let's see the answers. Number 1 is done for you. First, you put the olive oil in a hot pan. Number two. Then you add the tomatoes and cook. Three. After that, you cook the pasta in a hot water. Number four. Last, you put the pasta into the tomato sauce. Exercise number two. Plan and write a recipe. To plan your recipe and write it, you need to figure out what's your favorite recipe. What ingredients do you need? How long does it take to make? How many people is it for? How do you make it? When you start to write, use these phrases. My favorite recipe is Add the time and how many people is for. Add the ingredients, then use first, then, after, last to order your steps. When you finish writing, check the list of ingredients, correct the spelling, and clear handwriting. Lesson 9. Phonics. In this page, we're going to learn more about the word any. Exercise number one. Listen and repeat, then tick. Ask and answer. Listen carefully. Number one. Is there any lemonade? Yes, there is. Number two. Are there any cake? No. There aren't. Exercise number two. Listen and write. Look, circle and say. Number one. Is there any snow? Yes, there is. Number two. Are there any roses? Yes, there are. Number three. Are there any boats? No, there aren't. Exercise number three. Listen, write and say. There isn't any salad. There aren't any apples. There isn't any milk. There aren't any eggs. Let's go shopping. Lesson 10, part two. Exercise number one. It's your birthday. Choose your birthday party menu. 
Decide what food and drink there is or isn't at your party. Then complete the table. I'll show you my answers as an example. A lot of cupcakes and bowls of ice cream. Some crisps and cans of lemonade. A few sandwiches and pasta. A little fruit and eggs. No vegetables and bottles of milk. Exercise number two. Look at activity one and write about your birthday party menu. At my party, there are a lot of cupcakes and bowls of ice cream. There are some cans of lemonade and some crisps. There are few sandwiches. There are a little sweets. There aren't any vegetables. Exercise number three. Compare your birthday party menus in pairs. Let's read the example. Are there any cupcakes at your birthday party? Yes, there are a lot of cupcakes. Have a similar conversation with your classmate as shown in the example. Lesson 10, part 2. Exercise number 1. Match the words to make six types of food and drink. Vegetables. Cupcakes. Sandwiches. Lemonade. Cereal. Pasta. Exercise number two. Circle the correct answer. Let's see the answers. Number one is done for you. There is a lot of bread. Number two. There isn't any lemonade. Number three. There are some crisps. Number four. There are few apples. Exercise number three. Circle eight containers in the word snake. We have can, plate, box, bottle, glass, bag, cup, bowl. Exercise number four. Complete the questions, then answer them. Use short answers. Let's see the answers. Number one is done for you. Are there any tomatoes? Yes, there are. Number two. Is there any milk? No, there isn't. Number three. Is there any cheese? Yes, there is. Number four. Are there any bananas? Yes, there are. Number five. Is there any tea? No, there isn't. Lesson 10, part 2. Vocabulary. Exercise number 1. Translate the words into your language. Add more words to the list. Food. Cereal. رقائق الدرة. Coffee. قهوة. Crisps. مقرمشات. Cupcakes. Cat. Fruit, fawake, milkshake, makhfuq al-halib, lemonade, asir al-laymoon, noodles, makarona sariyat al-tahdir, salad, salata, sandwiches, shatair, tea, shai, vegetables, al-khudrawat, containers, a bag, Hakiba أو كيس. A bottle. قنينة. A bowl. وعاء. A box. صندوق. A can. علبة. A cup. كوب. A glass. كأس. A plate. صحن. Exercise number two. 
Read and complete. Use the words in the box above to fill in the blank. Let's see the answers. There are a lot of sandwiches. There are a few apples. There aren't any cupcakes. There is some water. There is a little coffee. There isn't any cheese. Exercise number one. Listen and draw lines. Listen carefully to the conversations to draw a line between the name and the character. Number one. Look, Uncle Ahmed, my friends are here for my birthday. Oh, yes, that's fantastic. Who's the boy with the bowl of crisps? That's Hazem. He's my best friend. Okay. Number two. The girl with the bowl of fruit. Is that Nora? Which girl? I can't see her. She's got an apple in one hand. Oh, I can't see her now. No, that's my sister, Muna. Oh, okay. Number three. I know that boy. There is a cupcake on his plate. Do you mean the boy with the glass of orange juice? Yes. His name is Saeed, isn't it? Yes, Uncle Ahmed. I play football with Saeed every Saturday. Yes, I remember. Number four. Look at that man. He's got lots of sandwiches. Where? He's at the table next to the pink flowers. Oh, yes. That's Hazem's father, Osama. He likes making food. There are a lot of sandwiches for everybody. Great. I love sandwiches. Now, check your answers. Fun Corner. Exercise number one. Write a healthy shopping list. Our healthy shopping list contains number one, vegetables, number two, sandwich, number three, sue, number four, milk, number five, salad, number six, fruit. Exercise number two. Find and circle six differences let's see the answers here are the six differences now let's write the differences number one in picture a there are some oranges in picture b there are some bananas number two in picture a there are a lot of cupcakes in picture b there are two cupcakes Number three, in picture A, there are some crisps. In picture B, there aren't any crisps. Number four, in picture A, there isn't any salad. In picture B, there is some salad. Number five, in picture A, there are two bottles of lemonade. In picture B, there are five glasses of lemonade. Number six, in picture A, there are three sandwiches. In picture B, there is one sandwich. Pooh's Learning Club. Exercise number one. Read and circle. Look at the picture and circle the correct answer. Let's see the answers. Number one. The salad is on the top shelf. Number two. The lemonade is below the salad. Number three. The vegetables are on the bottom shelf. Number four. The cupcakes are above the vegetables. Number five. Look up at the eggs. Number six. Look down at the sandwiches. Exercise number two. Choose and write. Fill in the blank using the words in the box above. 
Let's see the answers. Excuse me, where are the cupcakes? They are on the top shelf. And where are the sandwiches? Look down. They are on the bottom shelf, below the eggs. Brilliant! Thanks! Exercise number three. Look at activity one and complete the sentences. Let's see the answers. Number one. The chocolate is on the top shelf. Number two. The eggs are above the sandwiches. Number three. The lemonade is on the bottom shelf. Number four. The vegetables are below the cupcakes. Exercise number four. Match the questions and answers. Let's see the answers. Number one is already done for you. Match is C. Where are you? I'm at the supermarket. Number two matches E. Who are you with? I'm with my mom. Number three matches A. What are you doing? We're buying cupcakes. Number four matches B. Why are you buying cupcakes? For my birthday party. Number five matches D. When is the party? Tomorrow at two o'clock. Exercise number five. Find the question words and complete the sentences. Let's find the question words first. We have where, when, who, what, why. Now let's complete the sentences. Number one, who's your English teacher? Number two, where do you go after school? Number three, why do you like holidays? Number four, what is your favorite food? Number five, when is your birthday? Exercise number six. Look at activity five. Answer the questions and draw. There is no correct or wrong answer in this exercise. I'll show you my answers as an example. Who is your English teacher? Miss Zahra. Where do you go after school? I go to play basketball. Why do you like holidays? Because I spend time with my family. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is sushi. We have reached to the end of our video today. Thank you for listening and watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.